We've got one last set of highlights for you, and let's start off with the Division VI matchup between the Hermitage Panthers on the road taking on the Bayside Marlins. This game taking place Saturday at the Sportsplex in Virginia Beach pits these two top uh, programs, Hermitage featuring the number one nation uh, linebacker in the nation as well as this offensive Bayside, very talented. We're gonna start off Deion Sid on the play action pass is gonna look, he'll find his receiver. That's Demetrius Nicholson, another highly recruited uh, corner, the number one in the nation. He'll find it on the offensive end in the end zone. Megan McGee with the extra point opportunity up. It is no good. So the Bayside Marlins with an early six to nothing advantage here. Hermitage will take the snap. The quarterback will hand off to the running back. It's gonna be a run right up the middle for big yards. So Hermitage Panthers get a big gain here. Nicholson makes a touchdown saving tackle. It's number 27. Derek Green with a big run. And actually, he'll set up this touchdown run as the quarterback able to dive into the end zone. That's Brendan Riddick. And that will tie the game up at six to six with an extra point on the way here for the Panthers. You see them just coming right down the field. Two plays with the extra point, give him the seven to six advantage here. Stitt now back with the ball. He'll hand off to Mazel. Mazel's gonna find some room to work with on the right side, and he'll scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. It's 13 to seven, the score here. Megan McGee would now take the kickoff, or send the kickoff away. Hermitage will recover. It's recovered by number eight of the Panthers. That's Nick Tambellini, and he'll find a hole, and he'll go up the field all the way down the sideline, and he'll get into the end zone for the kickoff return for the touchdown, as now the Panthers answer touchdown for touchdown. Score now tied 13-13. The extra point is up right down the middle and good. So the Hermitage Panthers now take the 14-13 lead here at the Sportsplex. Quarterback Rick will take this handoff here. He'll drop back, look downfield, and he'll find a receiver for 53 yards. His receiver number 12, Brian Brown, will go into the end zone. And just like that, Hermitage tacks onto their uh, one-point lead with another touchdown. Now up 21 to 13. The Bayside Marlins now back on offense. Stitt will pump fake. He's going to look down the sideline. He'll have his receiver, Nicholson, who makes the impressive catch. He'll score for the touchdown, 21-20. The Marlins now looking to move the ball yet again. Stitt look downfield. Will throw it to his receiver, who will take a big shot. That was number two. Gene Holderman will take another look at it. Reaches out for the catch, but the Panther defender lowers the shoulder and makes a clean hit. But it was a big hit, probably the best hit we've seen all year here on Sports Report. Fortunately, he'll be okay. Don't think he returned to action after that shot, but the Panthers now with it. Riddick will give the handoff to the running back, will make a nice move coming up the sideline. That's number 13 for the Panthers, Tristan Wright, who will make a few defenders miss before he's finally brought down. Riddick will take this snap here, and he'll dive into the end zone for the score, and the Hermitage Panthers continue to tack on to the lead here now of 28 to 20. Hermitage once again in the uh, red zone. And this time the ball is knocked loose. It's a fumble and it looks like, and in fact it is, the Bayside Marlins will pick up the loose foot, football and return it all the way back for a touchdown to get back on the board. That's number 10 for Bayside, Jeton Beavers with the fumble recovery for a touchdown and the Marlins taking the advantage of the Hermitage miscue and able to go all the way down the field for the touchdown. Megan Lee's extra point is up and it's through the upright. So now the Bayside Marlins trail just by 1.28-27. However, the Panthers get back in to the red zone and you see the quarterback Riddick able to fall into the end zone one more time for the touchdown, adding on to the lead here. As the Panthers starting to pull away here in these final uh, moments. Now up 35-27 here in the fourth quarter. You see the Panthers with plenty to cheer about as they look to try and advance on to the state championship. And for good measure, Riddick will get another carry into the end zone for another touchdown. And that would be the final score here as the Hermitage Panthers on the road head down to Virginia Beach in the snow and get the 42-27 victory. Brandon Riddick, three for six, 113 yards passing for a touchdown, 144 yards rushing with four touchdowns. Derek Green with 11 carries for 79 yards. Deion Stick, 13 for 18, 212 yards and a touchdown. And Taquan Mazel with four rushes for uh, 73 yards and a touchdown. And in the other side of the bracket, Battlefield with a 35-27 victory over Lake Braddock will set up 
This December the 11th matchup for the Division Six Championship Battlefield at 11 and 2 will take on Hermitage 12 and 0, a matchup of two of the top teams from the Northern Virginia region. So make sure you tune in to the state championships. Once again, can be seen live here on Cox 11, December the 11th, the Division Five game at noon. Division Six kicking off at 4 p.m.